Upgrade your home entertainment with Sony's STR-DH590 5.2-channel AV receiver. Enjoy surround sound, 4K HDR video, and Bluetooth wireless technology for easy connection. Enhance your movie experience with stunning 4K HDR picture quality. It combines the clarity of 4K resolution with the true-to-life color and brightness of high dynamic range. This receiver supports the latest HDR standards, such as HDR10, Hybrid Log Gamma, and Dolby Vision, which travel through your home entertainment system with no loss of quality. Speaker setup is versatile and flexible with this receiver. S-Force Pro Front Surround Technology allows you to enjoy a virtual surround sound experience using only two speakers. It's ideal for smaller rooms. Or immerse yourself in movie action with a 5.1 channel surround speaker setup that really brings the cinema home. With digital cinema auto calibration, sound is automatically optimized based on where you sit in relation to your speakers to help give you the best from your home theater system. Connect all of your home audio equipment, such as your 4K TV, Ultra HD Blu-ray player, and your game console. It's quick and easy, with four HDMI inputs and one output. You can also enjoy instant wireless connection via Bluetooth wireless technology. In Bluetooth standby mode, you can turn the receiver on directly from your paired mobile device. Make this versatile receiver part of your home entertainment system. With impressive sound and amazing picture quality, you get the most from your entertainment. different in most every way imaginable, yet united by a deeper connection, a connection built through the love of rich sound. It began in New York City. A new idea for sound reproduction never heard before, an idea that grew and its fans and as long as there are those who celebrate the musicality of life, who value a better sound experience, this choice will live on and grow for generations. Because those who know, choose Morans.
Anything similar to this costs way more. This one has Wi-Fi, has Spotify Direct capabilities, so and it also looks really great. I thought I should give it a shot. So if you look at it, it's very simple and a very high um, high cost design. So immediately when you look at it on the back, it has two Wi-Fi antennas, it has a ton of HDMI ports. It's 8K ready. So I think with a firmware update, it should be able to handle 8K 60 content uh, passing through HDMI. It has Ethernet. It has music cast. Um, all of the audio phono inputs, coaxial, optical, as well as two zone um, optional outputs if you're not doing the, I think, Atmos setup. So I purchased this just for a solid, high quality, two channel stereo receiver that also has Wi Fi, ARC, and other, you know, capabilities so that I could keep it long term and use it as a, as a device I can just cast to from my phone. So comparing it to the old one, it's slightly larger. And directly, I just wanted to hook it up to my Poke Audios, plug it in, connect one HDMI cable for ARC, and that was it. Once you turn it on, you'll realize it has a display on the right-hand side, and it's fairly easy to use. Um, what I did to, to really access the settings easy is go to the HDMI on the TV and then push Setup on the remote control that it came with. The arc worked right away, so I didn't have to do anything there, but something I had to change, and I recommend you change if you have large speakers like mine with no subwoofer, is you have to go to the sound settings and change the front settings so that they are large speakers and turn the subwoofer setting to off, as well as turn off all the other speakers that you're not using. The other thing I did to make it sound really good is to put it in pure direct mode so that it doesn't have any uh, DSP or signal processing on your music, so you want it direct. All I had to do was go to my phone, click cast from Spotify, and immediately started playing on the receiver, and it sounds amazing, even if the receiver's off. And the other thing I tried is loading Spotify from the TV over ARC, and that also sounded great, but I'm just going to use it mainly for direct cast, uh, or for the direct cast capability. So overall, this receiver has been really amazing. Uh, after I change the settings, I highly recommend you change the settings to match your speaker setup. And it looks great, it performs great, and the price is really great. So I'm really happy that I found this, and I hope you enjoy it.